Finally, the implant is fabricated. But how do we get it into the cardiovascular system? We will make use of the super elastic properties of the nitinol and compress the implant into a microcatheter. I'll show you how. For this implant, we use a four French system. To load the microcatheter with the implant, we need several things. An introducer into which the implant is placed, an additional tube which simplifies the insertion, a transport wire, the microcatheter, a Y connector valve for flushing, and of course our implant. We start by pulling the transport wire out of the protection tube. The wire has different sections. At the proximal end it is stable and rigid. It can be easily pushed forward. At the distal end it is very flexible, so you can easily navigate through the vessels. In this area you can detect a barely visible crown. The implant hooks onto this crown, so that it can be transported through the introducer and the microcatheter. Connect the insertion tube to the introducer. Make sure to use the end of the introducer where the edge is beveled. Then take the transport wire and insert it into the introducer from the side without the insertion tube. Push further until the crown sticks out of the tube. To make handling easier, you can fix the introducer with a piece of tape. Now you can take the implant and thread it onto the transport wire. Ensure that the transport wire actually goes through the center of the implant and not through one of the smaller cells. Compress the implant evenly with your fingers so that it fits into the insertion tube. Once a part of the implant is inserted, gently pull the transport wire. The teeth of the crown will pull the implant into the insertion tube. Continue pulling until the implant is in the introducer. Then remove the insertion tube. Now we need to transfer the implant from the introducer into the microcatheter. To do this, we attach the Y connector valve via lure lock to the microcatheter. Then we push the introducer with the implant halfway into the valve and close it by screwing it. Next, we need to flush the whole system. To do this, we connect the syringe filled with fluid to the other lure lock connection and flush until the fluid flows out of the catheter tip. Afterwards, the connection with the syringe is locked. Now we can push the introducer up to the microcatheter. Then we push the transport wire with the implant into the microcatheter. Alright, the implant is loaded and ready to be used. You can test the expansion properties of the implant by carefully pushing the implant forward with the transport wire. Be careful not to release the implant, otherwise you will have to load it again. Let's have a look at the artificial vessel model. A guide catheter is already set in place. The model starts at the arteria iliaca communis, follows the aorta up to the aortic arch and continues to the indicated arteria carotis and the aneurysm models. Insert the microcatheter into the guide catheter. Guide the microcatheter up to the aneurysm where you can release the implant by pushing the transport wire forward. This implant seems to be a little bit too big for the aneurysm, but that's why we are doing the tests. You can try different implants and also the more challenging second aneurysm model. Happy testing and good luck with your final presentations.